Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1845, which is a hard level, where we have 40 moves to collect 200,000 points. Ticking time bombs mixed with color bombs is a great way to get those, but right now my ticking time bombs are wrapped up in sugar chests, so I need to collect these sugar keys as quickly as possible amidst all of the confusion of these chameleon candies that toggle back and forth between two different colors. And when I open these up, then I have access to them. And instead of worrying about making points, although I think I can get a color bomb here, I have to stay away from that. How can I make a move over here? I don't want to use this. Oh, here, I'll do this. So there, now we get a color bomb. All right, so, but really, I don't want to worry about the um, the points right away. What I want to worry about is staying alive. So I need to... Uh, just get rid of the first set of color bombs, which is close to exploding, and then I'll have access to more, or I'm sorry, ticking time bombs. I'll have access to more ticking time bombs. But I need to get over here, and I can't yet. Oh, stink. Let's see. There, that's what I needed. So if I take out all purple from the board, I collect some of these, I get my points, plus I open everything else up pretty well, right? I concentrate the colors down, color bombs, baguette color bombs and other specials. I don't have any red keys I can collect, but I do have an orange. That'll work. And I've got an orange here, so that'll get me more points. And I make specials to take these out. Okay, so there's the red gone. There we go. Okay, so I got all of the initial dangers out of the way, and I've got almost all the points I need. So now I need to keep on looking for opportunities to make specials, take out low set ticking time bombs until the time bombs aren't an issue. And if I do have any other opportunities to get some um, color bombs, that'll help. I've got to work over here and I can't. So I'm going to get as close to here as I possibly can. Just keep bringing things over. I can't. It's not... I can't get over there at all. Here we go, now we're getting closer. Ah, there we go, that's what I needed. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. Okay, so I have all the points I need, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six uh, items that are dangerous to me, but I can take care of a lot of those right away. I could do this. These on this side of the board are no longer a problem. I've got to worry about these guys. All right, now nothing is a danger to me, and I have an assured win. So now I can just make whatever move I want. It doesn't really matter at this point. But you can see how tricky it is to balance all of that to make sure you stay alive and you get the points you need. It's um, the introduction of a color bomb and being able to use the color bomb at the right time. Oh, I do have one that I need to worry about. Yeah, I don't pay attention to numbers as well as, as, well as I should. <laughs> so um, if you do get a color bomb and you can't match it with something to get the points, the best thing is to stay alive and hope for another color bomb in the future. Uh, but if you can hold on to it like I did and use it for both purposes, you'll have a stronger advantage. So if you come in with some color bombs, some boosters that you bring in, if you can wait, excuse me, until you've opened some candy up, until you've opened up those sugar chests and get a hold of those ticking time bombs, you'll have a much better chance of winning. Sorry about my voice. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thanks for watching.